Okay. This episode is brought to you by Taylor's Baked Goods. Whenever sweets are mentioned to me, I always think of Taylor's Baked Goods. You know? Take a glance at me quickly. You know? What do you see? You know, you're, I don't. you don't see a guy that goes on a diet and goes to the gym. You see a man. You see a real man who knows what sweets are. I like to fucking shove my mouth late at night with brownies. It doesn't matter. Cake, cookies, I'll put it in my fucking mouth. I don't give a shit, all right? And the only place I get my sweets are sweets from are Taylor's Baked Goods. So make sure to go check her out on Taylor's, Taylor's Baked Goods on Instagram. And you can request anything, and she'll bake it for you. She'll ship it to you so you can shove your fucking mouth with some sweets, Okay? Not only does she bake, but she has a black boyfriend. I don't even understand how people don't want to fucking buy from her. Maybe they're just racist. But I'm going to keep fucking mentioning it because he's a good guy. All right? I'm a good pal of his, and he's a good pal of mine. Anyways, uh, this episode is also brought to you by Southpaw Sound. If you want to record music, record a podcast... Record a porno. It doesn't fucking matter, okay? Southpaw Sound can deliver you a great-ass deal for some studio time. Not a porno. Not a porno? Not a porno. (laughs) Or maybe, I don't know. You can make whatever you want. (laughs) All right? And if you're, you know, if your sexy little ass wants to get creative and come in here and make some sound, make some voiceovers, you want to do a voiceover for a cartoon? You make cartoons, dude? Just come here. We'll give you some nice sound, some nice studio time. We'll kiss you. Okay? And make sure to email southpawsound717 at gmail.com. Southpaw Sound717 at gmail.com. All right. Since that's out of the way, welcome back, people. Uh, it's been a while. You know, this is episode 20. So, uh, you know, let's, let's clap. Clap. Clap! Alright. It's been a while. You know? Why have we been slacking? I don't know. Pop Edo gets lazy sometimes. I have to deal with school stuff. School came around the corner and now I'm in school again. Oh man. Look at that. Had one week off of summer classes. Now I'm right back into it, dude. Am I suicidal? No. Am I sad? No. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. It's like, no. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, school has been ass. Because now I have to deal with more money. and Because I was at a community college. I love community college because, hey, it's fucking cheap. There's not a lot of Asians, man. Dude, listen. I don't, have, I, don't, I don't have anything wrong with Asians. You know? I don't have anything wrong with Asians. But they make me feel like shit. You go to Penn State Harrisburg, they have so much money. They have so much fucking money, dude, and that makes me feel so bad. There's, a, I saw this group of these group of little. I, I'm not gonna say Chinese or anything. I'm just gonna say Asian. And when I say Asian, exclude Indian. All right, India is technically Asia. So when I say Asian, just just know it's not India. You know, Chinese. basically. I mean, they're all probably from like Hong Kong, and their dads are like billionaires, like with like just fucking sweatshops around the whole goddamn country. I don't know. <laughs> But what each of these fucking kids that are just there excel in school because that's what they're like amazing at. And they just have so much money. So they flaunt it. Okay. Every kid has a pair of Yeezys. Like, I don't fucking understand. They just probably hand it out to them because they make up, they make Yeezys in China. So they're probably just like, here, you can have one because we make them all the time. I don't know. Maybe that's the case. Or their dads are just fucking like, here's a credit card. It's a black card. You know what a black card is, dude? You get fucking whatever you want. It's a buy anything card. It's a buy anything card because you ain't got no limit. Because they know you can pay that shit back. Because they know you got money, dude. And I'm not doing this because that's like regular money. You know? That's like so much fucking money. It's just up in the air now. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Are those American Express? Nah. Hmm. Fuck, I don't know. Maybe. It doesn't matter. Regardless, dude, 
I feel so bad every time I fucking pull up my 2004 Toyota Camry and I see the little Asian boys, you know, they're short. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're little Asian boys and they pull up in their fucking Maseratis. I don't understand how the fuck that's possible. You guys are like 20 years old. Like, what the fuck is up with that? I don't know. That's what fucking is bothering me. I'm trying to start class. I got to buy books. I'm not trying to buy books, though. I tell... Nick was telling me, wait, like, a week or some shit. Or your professor's just, like, might have... Like, might tell you to use your book or not. And each one is telling me to use my book. So, like, now, I'm just fucking winging it. I might buy, like, two fucking books. But, dude, these books are just too goddamn expensive. And they're making me pay for a parking pass. There's just no fucking shot. So, that's why I'm stressed. And, uh, anyways... I just want to first introduce my friend, you know, before, before I get any selfish, before I get selfish here, my white friend, Tyler here built this studio with his own hands, with his other white friend, you know? And, uh, first I just want to ask you a couple questions. How long did this take you? Uh, longer than I planned on, but a couple months. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was fun. It was a little stressful at the end, but. Did you almost fight your other white friend? No, we never fought. You never fought? Mm -mm. Not even like once? Like, like little... a fist fight? No, like bickered. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like arguing oh, about stuff? No. I mean, yeah, but. Was it awkward when you guys did fight? <laughs> no. Fuck. Because I, can't, han <laughs> I can't, I can't handle confrontation like that. <laughs> like, especially if I'm in like a work environment and I get really awkward with somebody when I just, they yell at me. I, I don't know how to react like that. Because like, I mean, you guys are friends, you know? I, I yeah. Okay, that's understandable though. I can't make shit like this. Who yells at you? Who yells at me? My... Fuck, dude. No one really yells at me. Yeah. Because everyone's too fucking scared. Yeah. Yell at me, dude? I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> like, hey, Edo, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> bah! Just fucking dead, dude. And people are like, oh my god, Edo's so fucking mean. Not that mean, dude. I'm about to fucking do this without my glasses, dude. This is just so goddamn hot on my face. Anyways. Um, <laughs> Why is it white? I don't know. It's not hot in here? Maybe I'm just nervous, dude. I got so much anxiety and nerve. Like, I'm too anxious. Are you afraid to go home? No. Good. Why would I be afraid to go home? Because of what your dad will do to you? Dude, my dad can't do shit to me anymore. My mom... <laughs> dude, listen... He's not 80. Listen, anyone in my family who wants to fight, please hit me up. I am so... Con Actually, like, if my brother and I fought, maybe... It's a 50-50. Because him and I used to fight all the fucking time growing up. Like, we used to fist fight. We used to just, like, beat the shit out of each other. Like, I don't know if, like, people who have brothers out there, you did that shit. But, like, we would, we fought, like, six times. Like, genuinely fought. And I'm not fucking saying bickering. I We literally, like... I'm four years younger than him, and we fist fought. You know what I'm saying? And I put up a good fight each time. So now, like, I'm pretty sure to have a decent, like, chance over him. You're way more than him, right? Yeah, but he's just, like, he's just more aggressive. He has, like, that natural, like, strength, like, dude. Like, you look at and you're like, hey, he kind of looks like he has saggy muscles. But he's just, like, really fucking strong. Like, just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fucking dieseled out. And he would whoop my fucking, like, dude, he pushed me the other day. <laughs> Dude, that shit fucking, like, I, it felt like I got touched by a gorilla. I swear to God. I thought he was going to beat my ass for a second, dude. But no, nah, I beat his ass anyway. No, any, no, seriously, anyone in my family, you want to come and, like, just fight? No problem. I would whoop my dad's ass in a fucking heartbeat. That's not even a problem. He's, like, 5'7", old as shit. I feel like even in his prime, like, right now, if I were to fight my dad, like, the same age probably would still beat his ass i swear <laughs> to god he's so small dude there's no way he has a chance on me wasn't he in the military yeah and you weren't hey man he ran from the military you know? <laughs> well. maybe I, <laughs> I mean hey he had to like motherfucker had to become a refugee up in this bitch but yeah that's the, that's the only way i came over to america is that we were refugees because that's like one that's, like, one thing for immigration. Like, if you want to come to America, 
just start like a genocide in your country and then like America will literally accept you, you know? That's like one of the biggest like things like, hey, if there's like war or civil war going on in your country, America will take you in. Like you can get your papers like like that. So like I was super lucky to fucking come here and be here immediately. Unlike other people who have to apply for like, you know, 10 years just to come to America. So I was fucking lucky. Same with thing. It's probably with Aiden. You know, same thing with him. He came here the exact same way. And I tell that to Bosnians all the time. I'm like, you guys are fucking lucky. You know, like, you guys should really think about how you guys came here. And, like, you're not, like, like other fucking people waiting, like, five years to see their mom come here, you know? Like, that shit's crazy. So, yeah. Start a genocide. America will just fucking take you in like it's nothing. And that's the best part. And, uh, if you're an immigrant, man, don't even worry about it. In the future, immigrants will rule this country. <laughs> Maybe not, like, in the near future. <laughs> Maybe there's gonna be, like, a revolution or something. I'm predicting it. It, revolution. I'm think. I'm think. This is my prediction. Either Asians, not Indians, Asians, because they're super like smart. They're like taking over schools. Like, when I mean taking over, I mean like they're literally destroying schools with their intelligence, and that's like a compliment. Okay, so I'm not like dishing. I'm not like dissing on these fucking people. They're going to be so smart and they're going to take over all of us. And then we're just going to be like, oh, <laughs> like, you, know I mean? you know what I mean? They're going to look down upon us and they're going to be like, you know, I don't know what they would say. There Peasant, you know, and then we'd be like, oh, please give me a, a life. And we'll be asking for lives because we won't have lives no more with, when they're in, when they're ruling. Imagine what those Chinese people say to each other in Chinese about you. Dude, probably the worst things. <laughs> like I walked dude, I went to school in like this shirt you know yeah. I, I got Asians always fucking stare at me and I always wear like my cool ass shoes they're all wearing Yeezys dude they're all like they're fucking looking at my shoes like like they're super jealous you know I, I have shoes that I customize myself like I, I drank a lot of coffee around like 12 in the morning and just stayed up till 3 customizing shoes like a madman you know what I'm saying and they look fresh as fuck. Like, they look like somebody customized them, like, better than me. And motherfucking Asians always look at them. Because they're like, oh, my God. What is a dead? You know? <laughs> and they love my shoes. But I see them looking at my outfit, and they're probably talking shit. Because they're all hanging around in groups, and they're like, oh, and they're laughing at me. It's so noticeable. But also, a, dude, there's so many of them that are just like, you could tell that their life is just stress, you know? Like, there was, like, the one... I saw... Uh, there's this one uh, Asian girl in my accounting class. I had, like, my accounting class yesterday. And don't remember her fucking name. Everybody had to stand up and tell, like, oh, my name is Edo. Uh, my marketing... I'm a main major's marketing. Uh -huh. I hate that shit. Because, like, I don't care for, like, marketing at all. I just, like, want to graduate. So, like, I'm not even, like, enthusiastic about my major. I'm just, like, I'm just here. <laughs> but she stood up, and she was like, Hi, uh, my name is, uh, I am a business major, you know? And her face was just, like, acne. And she just bags under her fucking eyes, just tired looking. And I'm like, dude, this girl, all she does is just school. Nothing else. She probably takes, like, eight classes. I'm taking five, and I'm complaining, you know what I'm saying? This bitch is trying to finish school and like her master's in like three years, I feel like, which she probably will because she's fucking smart, you know, and all of them have like those cool ass fucking looking these little laptops, dude. They whipped it out like a little tablet and they all just like click their like keyboard. They're like super fucking fast. But listen, they can't really participate in like class discussions. I'll be honest. I'm not trying to not being mean. Okay. If we're having class discussions and they're super quiet and they can barely speak English, those participation points are going down. You're trying to get an A in a class where participation matters? Good fucking luck. You know? I might not be that intelligent, but I'm good with people and I can speak. You know, I can have a decent argument about a case study that we read or something. That's those classes I really like because you can argue about things to people. It's like, like it's cool. It's like real life shit, right? You can't argue with someone that can barely speak English. You can. Barely. Okay, you can't. 
You can't argue with somebody when you can barely speak English. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. You have, like, those class discussions. I feel like they just kind of don't know what we're talking about. They can read the fuck out of things, you know? English things? Kind of. Dude, all of their laptops is just, like, Asian, like, letters. Ooh. Every single time. Even, like, their books were translated in, like, in Asian. So I was like, what is going on? Imagine how much those cost. Dude, that's what I'm saying. The fucking, like, I don't know. There's nothing wrong with Asians in school. Like, if you want to come here for a great education, that's amazing. I don't know what program. I guess, like, a, like a international student program, I guess. But, hey, man, you're going to fucking be defective in so many, like, categories in, in education. Like, I am. You might be smarter than me, but the people skills, I don't see it. Every fucking time. I've had enough, like, college classes and and other courses to, like, know that. You know? Every Asian I really see in class is kind of just shy. You know? I, I had an Asian friend in my psych class. Had to stand up. Was so goddamn quiet. I could barely hear him. I sat two fucking rows in front of him. I could barely hear what he even was said to the class. So, it's just... It's not even stereotypical. It's, like, a common thing. You know? I feel like most Asians are, you know, nice and humble. You know, they like to keep quiet to themselves. You know, they're like, hey, man, when are you born? I don't want to tell. When's your birthday, man? I don't want to tell you. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to tell you. Like, where you live, man? My father doesn't want me to tell you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hum like Asians are humble as fuck. So they wouldn't even, like, talk to you. They just want to keep to themselves and graduate. And then work for their dad, who's a billionaire. That's a fact, dude. They're all fucking billionaire families in Hong Kong. You can't lie to me and say that or not. And dude, oh my god, I, I I saw one Asian though, who just looked normal, because she was talking like she spoke like English so well without an accent. So I'm assuming she was Americanized, and she was so fine. <laughs> I would do dirty things to her, and she sat next to me in class, dude. I was like, oh, why does she sit next to me? There's so many other people she can sit next to. And she sat next to me. And then I realized it was like one of the open seats that was like closest to the door. And I was like, oh, she just sat there just to sit there. Either way, I'm going to get that puss. Don't you fucking forget that. <laughs> Anyways, what the fuck you guys been up to? <laughs> like, enough with me. Tyler, tell me what are your, uh, what are your plans? Like? For this week. For this week? Oh shit! We're having a picnic Sunday, like a white family picnic. Yeah, you can guys can come. Hmm. Yeah, Saturday. Did you just say Sunday or Saturday? Saturday. You trying to come to this pic? Pool's fixed too. Is it like it's holding water? But like, is it like clean? Yeah, I can do today. <sighs> I might just have to come then, yeah. dude. <laughs> Yeah, man, I don't really have an agenda to talk about things today. I'm just winging it, but it's cool, you know? I wanted to talk about, like, forever ago, the video I saw of Sonny Liston. I told you about it, like, forever ago, but I feel like I could bring it up for this podcast. Yeah, what is it? There is this video, which was fucking amazing. First off, let me introduce this. Muhammad Ali, we look at Conor McGregor today, right? You know, a crazy shit talker. You know, and everybody tries to impersonate him in the UFC and people get called out on it. You're like, yo, why are you acting like Connor? Why are you acting like a fucking bitch? Like, why are you sh like shit talking? And people are like, ah, shut up. You know, Muhammad Ali, dude, was the best shit talker in the world because he made it hilarious. I saw this video. Oh, I was watching like a bunch of like hood fights. You know, okay, I, yeah, okay. That's like one of the, like I really like to waste time and just go on YouTube, watch some world star hip hop fights. I've talked about this many times before, but I went on there, I watched a couple fights, and a bunch of Muhammad Ali videos started coming up on the suggested. So I was like, oh, cool, I'll watch Muhammad Ali fucking fights, maybe like some cool some highlights or whatever. And then this video pops up of how much shit talking he did to Sonny Liston. You know who Sonny Liston is? It's just like. He's like an old boxer. So him and like Sonny Liston had so much beef growing up. And before they fought, Muhammad Ali talked so much shit. He went up in a, a bus 
this bus that had like best champ, like man, look, greatest fighter in the world, like his own little bus. And he was like stuck his head outside with a megaphone. You know, is that what they're called? A, mi- a big, like one of those big loud microphones, dude. And was like, I'm the greatest fighter ever. You fucking suck. Like all this shit in front of his house. He pulled up in front of Sonny Liston's house. And he was like, you are the worst. Be prepared to lose all this shit. You know, you know how we talked back then. I am the greatest alive. And Sonny this is like, get the fuck out of here. He's like out in his front lawn and is like, she was like, get out of here. And then this other scene, he's literally like, I love it. Cause it's so like, it's like, he was like the beginning of like the real trolls. Like he was a trolls in like, <laughs> like in sports before it was like, you know, a trolling thing. Right. He, and there's this one clip, they're in a club. And Sonny listens in the fucking club. He's like playing like blackjack or whatever. Some like, you know, little kind of like Las Vegas looking club. Muhammad Ali rolls up with his crew. Bunch of fucking black guys. They look like they're Muslim brotherhood, like, you know, brothers trying to convince him to become, you know, super Muslim. I can't remember if this was before he went to like Africa or not. Doesn't matter. Goes up in the club with Sonny Liston and Sonny listens with his like friends and he's behind him. And a group of people are like blocking him from like touching Sonny List. And he's like, you fucking suck. Make sure you like, don't forget the train for me. And he's like in his ear. And Sonny Liston's trying so hard to just ignore him. He's like playing and shit, playing blackjack. And then I forget what Muhammad Ali said. Sonny Liston turns around with a gun, points it at Muhammad Ali's head and shoots it. And shot, uh, shot like four fucking times, right? But... Sonny Liston lifts up his jacket and shoots like his gun and he's like there's blanks he had fucking blank bullets in the gun he got shit talked so hard he got fucking in his head so hard that he got a gun with blanks just in case that fucking happened like how crazy is that I I saw that and I was dying Literally the best shit talker you can ever like think of in the history of sports or in the history of shit talking. Literally the best shit talker. I was so proud. And then the thing was Muhammad Ali fucking ran so fast out the club. Like literally, you can see the video. He's just like, Pew. but he's like, sorry, listen, like pulls out his jacket. He's like, there's nothing. And they go right back to playing blackjack. Try to shoot a fucking gun in a club today, dude. See, like you're going to just get kicked out. He did it so nonchalantly. He was like, and he was like, hey, it was nothing. It went back to playing blackjack. Dude, that shit is awesome. That's why, like, back then, dude, oh, my God. Imagine growing up watching, like, Muhammad Ali. I, you could say, like, nowadays we're lucky to see, like, Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. But, like, dude, that's nothing like that. There's not. There's going to be nothing like that. Shit's crazy, bro. Literally, like, a legend, man. That's a good story. That's why, like, when he has, like... Now what what do you what do you have like he had a uh, what is it Parkinson's when he was shaking a lot or was that like cerebral palsy that Muhammad Ali had I think he had Parkinson's when he was like shaking too much dude he does not deserve Parkinson's he's such a good ass guy he's such a good guy literally the best fucking person alive I don't know but like that's just made me want to go like do boxing like so bad. So you can do the shit talking? I feel like... Pff, I'd be so bad at shit talking. <laughs> I don't even know what I... What could I even say? I can't even talk shit because, like, I don't know that... I'm not that good at fighting. If it came to street fighting, no rules, I'll probably have a decent, like, chance over, like, most people. Just because, like, I, I black out. Like, I've told I've told you that... I told you the story... This was last episode. Mm-hmm. I was talking about how this kid, Hunter Five came up behind me choked me and said some shit to my about uh, to me like in my ear about my mom and i turned around grabbed his face and i fucking smacked his head on the back of like the wall and like he was like his eyes rolled back that was the first time i ever saw that my instinct i blacked out so i just start punching his fucking face while he's like unconscious you know gave him a couple cte points it's a cte point each punch is like a hundred points. <laughs> it was like a hundred points each time. You got like I don't even know. You got this. You got zero CT. You know, and you put <laughs> when you when you're first born, right? Okay. <laughs> right. 
right? So when you're okay. born, you're at zero. You're at zero. And yet you're a kid, you fall on your face or some shit. That's like five points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, you take a good beating. Maybe you play uh, Pee Wee football. That's like 20 points every hit, right? <laughs> every kid was just wailing each other in the fucking head growing up. That's what, at least what people told me. I never played Pee Wee football. But I played football my senior year, and it was the dumbest fucking thing. Like, I would see people running down the fucking hill. I mean, running down the field, like, full speed. And then go, and then just being like, I don't even understand. Both helmets just clanking, and everybody's like, yeah, fuck yeah. I'm on the side, I'm like, dude, Jesus fucking Christ. Are you mad? Like, each time. <laughs> Yo, oh, that? Fucking endless, dude. That, like, that shit goes on, dude, forever. You get, like, multiple points, I feel like multi-kill fucking points for like SCTE points right there dude that shit's crazy and I had to kick off like because I kicked because I didn't want to play line I didn't know what the fuck was going on I didn't know what four, four or five four five two formations were I don't know what the fuck wildcat formations was I don't know what I was doing when I was on the line people were like do you gotta switch uh twice uh, you gotta switch like uh lanes like twice over when this like when it's this formation I'm like dude just take my spot <laughs> I'll, I'll watch you I, I, you know what I mean like you know I, it, don't fucking put me in there so we all fuck up and then you're like what the fuck Edo I'm like what do you want me to do we'll let you study the formations I'm like I go to school what the fuck do I need to study shit outside of school get out of here man like what is this shit give me three formations that I can remember in a day we're fine you give me a whole packet to remember <laughs> That's not happening, man. You know? And they're like, hey, man, you want to come to uh, the summer camp? It's like a week. You get to be in a big lodge with like 100 other dudes just playing football. Hey, no thank you. Well, how about that, man? It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. So, hey, if you like seeing dudes just clank into each other, that's fucking great. That it honestly, it looks like <laughs> football is like human cars running into each other. That's what. I, that's how I look it's at like it. Like rugby too. Dude, no, rugby is like like safer though because like you're more aware because you don't have like helmets yeah, don't and you don't have, have pads, so like yeah. they know if you crash into somebody, like it's gonna hurt even more. So that's right. why they're more safe. It's more safe like that. That's why rugby's a a ton more safe like fucking than football. I'm sure they still like you know clash all the time yeah they do but it's a lot safer rugby is also crazy to watch it just like never stops <laughs> like there's no stoppages unless like it goes out of bounds and then they just like do this weird thing they throw in everybody like fucking lunges another like, person in the like air hit it with their yeah like it's weird as shit and cool as fun to watch cool as fuck to watch cool as fun cool as fun but yeah and Oh, we talk about CTE points. But yeah, I would... Listen, if I wanted to box... <laughs> yeah, I got a little off track there. If I wanted to box, I probably could. But I'm not trying to pay for, like, classes. I'd rather just look it up on YouTube. How to throw a jab. And the guy's, like, probably just like, All right, guys. Make sure you fucking throw your... Thrust your shoulder right. And I'd be like, oh, cool. Now I know how to jab perfectly. Get a punch a bag. Yeah. I, I go to a, a fucking boxing gym... And they're like, hey, man, just spar, you know, throw a couple punches for an hour. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, cool. How many times do I come each week? Oh, just twice. Oh, oh cool. How many times, uh, how much am I paying a month? Uh, 400? Fuck yourself. <laughs> how about I give you like 10 bucks every time I come for an hour? You know, I feel like that's how every like membership every month is. Like that MMA place that my friend opened up, it's like for, uh, for three classes. He's like, he'll, he'll, he'll give you three free classes. But like monthly is gonna be like two hundred for each kid, and I was like, no. Nah. How many classes you get? I'm pretty sure it's like three classes a week, maybe like f like four classes a week. But it's like, dude, no. And every other fucking boxing gym is just too expensive. I can just learn it on YouTube, you know. Maybe I won't know the fucking combos and how to, you know, have good footwork. It doesn't fucking matter, dude. You know what I'm saying? I just, if I were to go to the UFC, which I wouldn't, there's just no, there's just like, I, I can't. I, that's not like my mindset. I don't go out every day and be like, damn, 
I could totally fucking knock out somebody today. Cause like I do, I like people too much, you know, I can't hit people and feel good about it later. You know, every time I ever got into a fight in my life, I felt like shit afterwards. Except for that one you just talked about. Well, that was just out of like total revenge. And like, I, <laughs> it was like, I, I was bullied, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, and after a while, if you're constantly getting bullied by just, but this was the dumbest shit. I'd watch movies growing up and kids would get bullied, thrown in like, fucking lockers and shit i'm like dude that would never happen to me and i got bullied just for being like a little fucking eso you know i didn't know english that well and i got made fun of all the fucking time what was that kid's first name hunter what a yeah if you're if your name is a verb <laughs> what the fuck's going on <laughs> like all right what's, chase what's he doing now? uh he's dead i told you <laughs> fun, fun fact does, he did heroin after, like, high school. Because, you know, in Enola, it's, like, a heroin epidemic over there. It's, it's a little... Heroin it's, epidemic everywhere. It's a little... Oh, yeah. But it's, like, like it's a big thing. Enola is, like, this little rinky-dink town, which I went to, like, high school... Well, I went to middle school and high school there, like, halfway through high school. And then I moved so that I transferred to high schools. Doesn't matter. But in Enola, this little town, everybody seems to be doing heroin. You know, you could just do weed. Just smoke weed and then you feel relaxed. I don't see the need to do fucking heroin. I don't think ever in my life, maybe when I'm like 70 and I'm about to die, you know, maybe I'll contemplate doing it. But right now, nothing in my mind is telling me, hey man, you should definitely try out that heroin. You see all those cool ass documentaries of people dying, you should definitely try that out. <laughs> what the fuck? So at that point, I'm just, I, I'm just thinking these people's lives are so ass and they're just like, eh, let's do heroin. Why not? And then they get hooked. They get hooked on the poppy. Isn't it from the poppy seed? Mm-hmm. They get hooked on the pop. They pop. <laughs> they get hooked on the fucking poppy seed. And then bullies who bullied me just die. You know? You probably did heroin because you gave him so much CTE. Probably. Hey. How many points did you give him? 100, 200. I literally don't. I don't remember how many times I punched him. I just remember just punching him. Like, on like like uncontrollably and then when an ISS teacher tried to like tackle me off I was like no kept punching him you know you and until ISS? like no like there was I there's an ISS teacher this like woman but she looked like a man and there was two math teachers just teachers at lunch remember when teachers would walk around oh, lunch yeah, okay it right? was at lunch yeah we're oh. at lunch so like while I'm eating lunch with my other foreign friends because that's the only people I can relate to Right? Right. So it's like how you make friends. Like, I... Fuck, we're all, like, almost foreign. Except, like, you're foreign. Tyler's, like... No, nah, kind of. My ancestors, yeah. I But, guess. like, you can say most of my friends are, like, practically foreign. Right? And that's just who I, like, hung out with. And this kid came up behind me and just started choking me. But we're at lunch. A bunch of teachers are around. This one ISS teacher came up, tried to tackle me, and I literally threw her against the lunch tables. Remember those square lunch tables? Yeah. Those rectangle ones? Yep. And they all have those circular little, like... Like yep, seats for you. Fold them up. Mm -hmm. Yep. I thrusted her against it, and her body was just like against it, and she was like, uh, "You know what I mean?" <laughs> okay. She was like, uh, "But like, I was in middle school, and I fucking did that." You're in rage mode. I was in rage mode. At that time, and I was—that's when I finally figured out you could just black out sometimes and just not remember, like really, and and then eventually I got tackled. But what can I say, man? You know, I got fucking heated, but I, like, you know, right now I, I feel like I'm just more mature, you know, and I had anger problems growing up, but I can't see myself even boxing right now and being like, I could totally beat someone's ass. The only way I could is if I'm just angry. If someone like spat in my face or some shit, I feel like that, 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 or like someone just hitting you and like out of nowhere, you got to fight. Yeah. Unless someone hits you, like, oh, maybe if I was just, like, really high or just yeah. drunk and someone, cr like, cracked me for no reason, I'm like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> and I would probably just, like, not fight because I'm just too intoxicated. But if I was sober and someone, like, spat in my face, even if someone said something about my mom now, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> but if someone, like, spat in my face, I probably would just beat the shit out of them. And I don't even know what I would do if I try to fight someone now. I'd be out of breath in like 10 seconds probably. So in that, in that 10 second, that span of like minutes that I actually can fight, I got to give it my all, you know? 
because if I just get winded, I'm going to get knocked out, and then, and then I'll be on fucking World Star, and I'll be watching myself getting my ass beat, you know? You're going to get a gun? Am I going to get a gun? Mm. Probably when I'm older. Do you have a, you don't have a gun, do you? Do you have? Do you guys own a gun? I don't. I want one though. Would your mom be like cool yeah. with that, dude? I told my dad. I was like, dude, we gotta get a gun. I told him like forever ago. I was like, we need to get a gun since we have a house now. You know, we lived in the apartment. I wasn't worried. We just lived with Indians. I'm not gonna get fucking robbed. No one's no one's robbing apartments nowadays. Oh, let me rob this shitty apartment complex full of poor ass fucking people. Yeah, that's where they. All, that's where all the poor people they spend their money on like just drugs. If you want to just go to people's apartments and steal their drugs, they probably have a lot of drugs. But yeah, I told my dad forever ago to get a fucking gun because we got a house. Did you get one? No, he's just fucking old, bro. I feel like if he got a gun, he'd get like PTSD <laughs> and, and just like freak the fuck out. Or if you if I handed him like an AK forty seven, he'd probably be like, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> and just start freaking out. Just oh, unloaded on like the whole house, <laughs> ah! <laughs> and everybody would be fucking gone, dude. <laughs> so That's like the best thing the communists made, man. It's an AK forty-seven. The only thing that still like withstands. The only thing they invented that actually works. <laughs> Yeah. Anyways, dude. Yeah, so you're going to get a gun? How old, Can I just go and buy myself yeah, you one? you go and just buy a handgun, and you can get a concealed carry permit for like $20. Are you serious? It's just like that? Mm-hmm. What's like the biggest gun I can get without like with it having it concealed? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, like biggest. <laughs> <laughs> like a shotgun and a trench coat? Okay. Oh, fuck. Like I could... Oh, one. my God. Like, I could be like the Terminator yeah. when he was just like, you know what I'm saying? You can own as many guns as you want. Dude, I would feel so scared just to like carry one. Because like I see so many videos of people shooting themselves because they're stupid. I'm yourself. not that smart, man. I'll fucking really? shoot my... I f- oh my God. I would be so not... I would be so not confident with a gun in my hand. I've, I've shot guns before. I've never felt that like rush. Like, oh, that fucking felt good. I shot like a, I start I shot a rifle, I shot a shotgun, uh, like handgun. I shot like one of those heavy ass fucking revolvers. I just like I never really had that like oh man I should definitely do this again. You didn't feel the rush. I didn't feel the rush. You, you know why? No. Because you didn't shoot a human being. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I shot myself, I'd feel the rush. Feel I, I would definitely feel the shock. You'd feel something. I'd be like, oh my god, I shot myself. The funniest thing is when they do go in the shock, those people are like, oh my god, I just shot myself. And they're like, oh my god, I just shot myself. <laughs> they're like, for a second, they're just like, oh my god. Did you see that video of that? Uh, it's like a black guy with dreadlocks, and he's in the classroom teaching kids about the Oh, I saw that. Like, this is a Glock 19. I am the only one. <laughs> Skilled enough and qualified to hold, to hold this gun. <laughs> he's on the foot. He's like, oh. He's like, don't panic. <laughs> was he super calm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he was a teacher? No, he, was he, like a, he came in. Yeah. Oh, he was just like, just fucking, okay. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> like, right when he says that, he shoots him. <laughs> yeah, dude, there's no way I could get a gun like that but i would totally yeah. just want one for safety i'm gonna get you one for christmas dude i'll actually be so happy yeah. <laughs> but i would like bury it in my background like backyard oh. that's the only way i can like hide it from my parents Put it in your pocket. dude <laughs> <laughs> a little one like this big dude get me one Keep of those little prostitute dude can you get me one of those little prostitute like like fucking antique little ones do you know what i'm talking about those like 1800 prostitutes those, those little <laughs> tiny ones Dude, oh my god! Oh, shit, that John Wilkes Booth used. I could just like shoot my foot and it would be like, bing, like bounce right off. Eh. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember one time, uh, Carlos, um, my old boss, who got pinched for uh, cocaine, rest, you know, rip. He's not dead. He's just he got deported. <laughs> so rip, you know, 
But he's living the life down in Mexico, right? But I remember one time he showed me this gun. He was like, hey, pero. You know, that's what he called me. Like, pero. It was like fart in Spanish. <laughs> so everybody, I was like, Edo. I was like, you can call me Edo. He was like, I'm going to call you pero. And everybody in the whole fucking shop that spoke Spanish was like, pero. All the fucking time. But I thought they were calling me like pedo, like pedo. So like at one point I freaked the fuck out. I was like, you got to stop fucking calling me pedo. And they're like, no, it's not pedo. It's pero. I was like, oh my fucking God, dude. <laughs> I freaked out on Reina, who was like this woman worker. I was like, you guys got to fucking stop calling me that. Like, <laughs> and she was like, why? I was like, what the fuck do you mean why? It's so annoying. Like, holy shit. But like, I remember one time he was like, pero, like, gonna check this out. And he had this gun and it was like a little handgun. And he showed me the bullets and they were like this small. And I was like there to fuck with them. And he was like, dude, those won't even hurt me. <laughs> I was like, he was like, what the fuck do you mean? I was like, I can kill you. And I was like, dude, those don't do shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can shoot me like 10 times, I'll probably still be alive. Like, those little rinky-dink fucking bullets, dude, <laughs> won't do shit. And I, at the time, I was like super fat, too. I was like 290, pushing 300. And like, I had, I, 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 at the time, I was like, oh, I could get shot by those fucking bullets, and then nothing would happen. I looked like Ralphie May. I looked like the European, like, DJ Khaled at the time. Like, forever ago, I had this on my old iPhone. On my iPhone, I took a picture, like, before I started working out, like, before I really lost weight. I took a picture, like, naked as fuck in the in the, in the, <laughs> in the bathroom mirror. Because, like, I saw on Reddit, like, that's, like, the first way to, like, just get you going. Because once you look at yourself, like, fully naked, like, on, on your phone, it's like, all right. Right? So, I literally looked like DJ Khaled. I had his belly. I was like, holy Jesus Christ. Right? So I, in my head, I'm like, dude, if this fucking, if he shot me with his gun, there's no way I would die. So next day he's like, pero, I'm like, I come to his office, a fucking revolver, dude. He's like, you think you can fucking say, like, you know, you think you can escape this? And I'm like, oh yeah, that's fucking nothing. <laughs> like, dude, the bullets were like so fucking big. I'm like, dude, that shit would kill me. That shit would kill me so hard. He was like, yeah, I have more. And I was like, oh. You gun shamed him. Dude, I the fuck yeah. He's like, oh, he's like, and recently he was like, I go to gun ranges now. And I was like, cool, bro. I was like, you probably still ask. You can't shoot me. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I miss him so much. Whenever I go down, dude, I, we got to go down to Mexico. If we go down to Mexico together, we can all go down when we're older. And when I have like a career, right? Was in Mexico. Really? Right now? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you should tell Carlos about and what you're saying. <laughs> He's in Mexico City. If he wants to go to Mexico City, I'd be like, hey, Edo sent me. You'll literally have a great ass time. I'm not even kidding you. If we all went, we would be treated like kings. And it would be you get the coke. You want coke? <laughs> a little sniffy sniff, you know? You want your fucking little bridge gap in your nose to disappear, man? Come down to Mexico for a good time. Do you know that little thing that like keeps your nostrils separated? If you do coke too much, you can get a hole in that. Really? And like... One of our teachers is like that. What teacher? Can't remember his name. It's probably good though. It's in high school. Yeah. He's all fucked up. The fuck? You can't... You remember? Know, the thing is like... <laughs> if I were to do coke, which I probably never will, because like... I just... Like there's Adderall, you know? Just take Adderall. It's ba just take a shit ton of that. It's basically the same thing. Plus you don't... It's not mixed with laxatives. It's not mixed with baking soda. Like, what else is fucking mixed with? I don't know. Baking powder? Baby powder? I don't know. It doesn't matter. All your cocaine, if you do snort cocaine regularly, um, it's like 35% cocaine. The rest is just cut. Because drug dealers don't give a fuck about your health. They just want money. So, don't do that shit. Unless I had, like, pure, like, yellow cocaine in front of me, I'd be like, okay, maybe. Maybe because that's just like, it's too pure. You know, if somebody was like, cause I went to Penn state once I went to Penn state like a couple, like many times and I went to the frats. I went to a frat and I went downstairs. It was the first time I ever seen cocaine in my life, like in front of me and 10 dudes lined up like one by one behind each other, getting, just snorting lines. And it was the scariest fucking thing. It was the scariest fucking thing to me. I was like, dude, I can't be here right now. Cause like, Anyone can come down here and be like, what the fuck is this? I'm calling the cops. 
I'm bringing the authorities. And I'm, and I'm there. I'm just like, oh, what's up, dude? And I, I get fucking arrested just because I'm there. I was underage at the time. Was I drinking? <laughs> Maybe. You know, I would have gotten caught. So, yeah, if I had pure cocaine, I'd think about it. You know, if it was sitting in front of me and some dude was like, take it. Because I'll be in like, you know, South America, probably. Some dude's like, oh, go ahead, take it. That's yours. I'm like, this is mine. This is mine. He'd be like, that's yours. Take it. That's all yours. So I'll take the cocaine. And I'll probably sell it. Because, you know, I'm a money man. You know, <laughs> I go to school for marketing. <laughs> marketing slash sales. That's my <laughs> fuck. <yeah. laughs> but no, dude, I don't think I'll ever do cocaine. There's no shot. No shot. As long as bringing in Adderall with his subscription, dude, there's no reason to do cocaine. And like, yeah. <laughs> his subscription. His subscription base. <laughs> But no, man, don't do drugs. What What's the time we got going on? 45. Jesus. All right, let's talk about one more thing. Because I don't want it to go over an hour. And it's hot in here. It's not that hot. Dude, I'm fucking hot. What? Maybe I just need to lose weight, man. Too, too much cocaine. I need to do too much cocaine. Nah, man. If anything, I need Adderall. I have ADD, dude. That's a fact. <laughs> That's because I cannot fucking focus at all at times. Like, at all. And I'm, like, way too fucking jittery. You know who has it, Brian? Bowman? Mm-hmm. I can he, see it. He really has it. You can tell. Like, you can't watch something that's, like, five minutes long. You just can't do it. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I can't focus for shit. Like, even... That's, like, why I would love to have Adderall for just to, like, finish these last two years of school and just, like, have straight A's. But, like, in class, it's just, like... It happens naturally how I just don't, like, focus. I'll just focus. Like, I'm like, come on, Edo. It's going to be a good semester, man. You're going to do great in this class. Go ahead. Just focus on the professor. And I'll, I'll just focus. And something cool as fuck will pop in my head. <laughs> just like, wow, I just totally go home and play Battlefield right now. I love how Battlefield... Like, I was playing Battlefield 4 recently. I got to show you a bunch of my fucking... I got bow and arrow clips. No, no. Dude, I got bow and arrow in this fucking game, and it's amazing. And killing people who have, like, snipers from far away, and I got a crazy-ass, like, bow and arrow shots. I'll send you a bunch. But that's the thing, dude. I don't, like, I I can't fucking focus. Yeah, speaking of which, what, what was the last thing you wanted to talk about? Anyways. Before we ended it. I don't know. Anyways. Actually, fuck, we'll end it right here. You know, I feel like we talked about way too much already. And, uh, actually, no, Tyler, don't, tell me your three steps on how to get women. Oh, fuck me, I don't know. What the, dude, <laughs> just tell me. Go ahead, get, be yourself. Yo, get closer to Mike and be genuine and look at the camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little bit, yeah, go for it. I don't fucking know. Step one, tell me, because I've been having women problems, you're older, you know, I look up to you guys like my older brothers, you know? Oh, introduce yourself. Hi, my, my name's Edo. There you go. My name, well, my name is Edvin, but everybody calls me Edo, so you, you could choose either one. I'd really prefer you choose Edo, though. There you go. All right. Uh, fuck, I don't know. Step be yourself. Two. Be myself. But every time I be myself, women get pushed away from me. Find the right one then. Maybe that's it. Maybe and, that's um, it. Maybe step I just three. Give it up for Tyler, folks. <laughs> Give it up for Tyler, folks. This has been a great episode. All right, let's end it with our sponsors, all right? Here, you talk about South Paul Sound. Give them your best, your best, uh... Oh, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> you want to sing? You want to record your fucking awful voice? Make sure to check out South Paul Sound, okay? Every fucking time I want to record, I come here. Why? Because it's a beautiful studio. Okay, it's made by white hands. It doesn't matter if it was made by black hands, red hands, whatever. It doesn't matter. But it was made by four white hands, actually. So it's two people, four white hands, right? It's the math, (laughs) right? (laughs) You want to come here and record a good podcast? You can. You want to come here and record some music? You can. 
You want to come here record some voice recordings? You can. You want to come here record some porno? You can! Just make sure to check out uh, Southpaw Sound and email them at Southpaw Sound 717 at gmail.com. And um, also check out Taylor's Baked Goods. Because what is life without sweets? Okay? You walk around every day, you're eating pasta, it's carbs. You know? You got a lot of. I fucking love pasta, dude. I'll make the little seven minute, like, prep ready ones, you know? Takes like seven minutes to make it. Just boil it on the fucking pot. Put some water and milk in there. A little bit of butter. Some seasoning, dude. And just fucking... Ah, dude, that's some good pasta, right? It's awful for you because it's not real pasta. But hey, I'm not fucking making homemade pasta like some weird girl, okay? Instead of eating some pasta, how about you turn around and eat some sweets, huh? Or maybe when you're done eating some pasta, you go ahead and check out Taylor's Baked Goods on Instagram, Right? She's got a crazy, you know, arsenal. And I'm saying arsenal like it's ammunition. She's got an ammunition of just sweets lined up for you to fucking shove your fat little fucking face. Just fucking sweets all for you, right? You can request something. You can choose her some, something from her catalog. Doesn't matter. Message her. Get some sweets in your system. And they're homemade. You know, you, you go to places and they have those nice homemade sweets, the, the fudge. How much is the fudge every time you go to those nice-ass uh, little old fucking stores and they have, like, that homemade fudge? How much is that fudge? For that little tiny bit of fudge. Mm, at least $3 for a little. For a little? Yeah. You know how much a meal at any other place is for you to get full is? Huh? It's like $3 for you to fucking fill your mouth and be full. Desserts shouldn't be that fucking expensive. Get yourself some gourmet desserts from Taylor's Baked Goods on Instagram. Okay? Do you have anything to say? Well, have a good day. You want to thank me? Thanks for having me on, bud. Chris, you want to say anything? No. You sure? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, welcome back. You know, it's been like a week and a half, maybe two fucking weeks since our last Busty Buffalo episode. Um, if you liked the episode, share it with your fucking mom and your dad. Tell them about me. You know, maybe we can kiss all of us. Maybe I can hang out with your parents and then I can tell them about, about me. And then maybe we can have a baby. doesn't matter. Tell your friends. Comment down below bunch of shit I'll fucking respond because I don't have a lot of subscribers I'll fucking respond to anybody you want to talk to Papa Edo I'll talk back I don't I'm not that fucking weird dude's like yeah, I'm not talking to my fucking fans I'll talk to you you know just don't say any fucking weird shit in the comments or I'll kill you I'll end it there goodbye Fifty cent, too short. All of them talk about Glock forty. Okay, I'm the only one in this room professional enough that I know of to carry this Glock forty. I'm the only. One. <laughs>